All right, kia ora everyone. It's Nathan Rose from Cap Gemini here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. I am super stoked to give you a first look at low code PowerFX plugins in Dataverse. This is a, an experimental feature that was announced yesterday by Microsoft at their build conference. And I had a play with this yesterday. I am incredibly excited about this feature and I'm really stoked to show you what it does, get a first look at it and where I think this is going. So first things first, this is an experimental feature from Microsoft. So be very careful installing it in any environment that isn't a dev or demo environment. As it's an experimental feature, there could be some substantial changes to it as the uh, as people like myself have a play with it and the team works out uh, how, how it works best. So again, I wouldn't install it in anything higher than a dev or demo environment. That being said, this is absolutely something you should start getting getting hands on with. It is a massive win from the team, a huge win for low and no code app makers like myself. So first things first, in order to install it, you need to go to App Source and get the Dataverse Accelerator app and install that into your environment. Once you've installed that, you'll see an app called Dataverse Accelerator app. And when you play that app, you will see this experience here and there's two types of plugins you can create at the moment instant and automated the best way to think about this is exactly the same way as you would a power automate flow instant works when you trigger it manually i.e i click a button automated is triggered when something happens in dataverse so i've created an instant one and there's some sample ones you can look at here and when you but we'll go through the one that I've created. So this is a very, I've created a very simple addition one based on the docs that the team that created this have supplied. What I wanted to do was just firstly prove that this that this works, that I can that I can make it do some things. And then in the coming weeks, I'll get into doing some real whizzy bang stuff with it. So let's take a look at how this works. So first thing you're gonna do is give it a name, give it a description. And then you're going to define the plugin. So you're going to give it input and output parameters. And this very, very similar to when you're creating columns in Dataverse, you can give it types integer, decimal, float, string, et cetera. So I've got my inputs and my output. And then I'm going to define my expression here. Now, this, um, I don't fully understand this as of yet. This is just what came through in the docs, but this is how I've defined the simple addition. When I type in here, I, I do see IntelliSense working and I can see some PowerFX functions coming up. So this uh, so so this is is where you start to invoke, invoke PowerFX. Cool. So once you've once you've defined your plugin, we can go and test it. So let's run a simple test of this plugin. Give it a second to update. And let's run our test. Okay, so let's just do some simple addition. So we'll do one plus one. Let's run the plugin. And you'll see we've got a response. A little bit hard to see here, but uh, that has come back with the answer of two. Awesome. Okay, our plugin works. So let's go and pop this into a model driven app and see this in action. So what I've done is I've created a custom page in a model driven app. This feature currently works in canvas apps and model and custom pages in model driven apps. It's not currently supported in modern commanding and model driven apps. I did try this yesterday, but at the moment it doesn't appear to be supported. So what you'll need to do is create a canvas app or a custom page. Once you do that, you'll need to go to your settings and into the experimental settings, you'll need to turn on the access to Dataverse actions. That's what's gonna allow you to access the plugins. Once you've done that, you're gonna need to add a table called environment. This is where your plugins and Dataverse actions are stored. So, one, so once you've done that, you can start, uh, start building the custom page that invokes the plugin. So what I've done is I've got a table in my model-driven app called product. Products have a price and there's a column called GST. If you're in the US, GST is sales tax. If you're in Europe, that's VAT. And so I've got, so the, the price is just a standard currency, currency column. 
GST is a power effects calculated column. So that's calculating that at 15%, which is the New Zealand GST rate. And so that's coming through on my gallery here. And what I want to do is I want to invoke this plugin to sum this price of the product with the GST amount. So this is, again, this is the standard currency amount. This is the calculated amount using that power effects column. And I want to sum that together and stick that here. And so I've got my formula that's being invoked when I click this button here in the gallery. It's setting a variable with the results of this plugin. So I'm, you can see I'm using this environment table. It's invoking my plugin. And then I am within the parameters of this plugin, I am pulling in Dataverse items to run, run this plugin and generate a total. So that's, uh, that's basically how it works. So let's go into the custom page in the model driven app and let's see this in action. So you can see that my gallery is populated. I've got products, I've got prices, and I've got GST amounts. So let's go ahead and click the button and you can see that our plugin's been invoked and it's totaled. Try this again. And it's updated. So that's a first look at the new low code power effects plugins in Dataverse. Um, doing some simple addition, invoking data in Dataverse in a custom page in a model driven app. So as I said, in the coming days, I'll be looking to do some more whizzy bang stuff with this, but this is a huge feature from Microsoft, a massive win from the PowerFX team. I am incredibly excited about this, and I am really looking forward to playing with it in the days and weeks to come. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and hats off to the PowerFX team. You guys have really hit it out of the park.